Now, uh, before the long runs begin, this is the moment which, if any work is to be done, it should be done now, before the rains begin. That is my first prayer, Honorable Speaker. My second prayer is that she has indicated that uh, there is an allocation of 30 million shillings which can be used to begin the work. And Honorable Speaker, I'm aware that this house allocated about 350 million shillings uh, to address the questions of flooding across the country. And given that this particular flooding uh, of Lake Kanyabuli is affecting livelihoods of about 20,000 people, about 10,000 people in Alego Usonga in two wards, Central Alego and Usonga wards, and also in Gudalangi constituency. I was going to plead with her that uh, out of this budgetary allocation, if she could consider increasing the allocation so that we sort out this issue once and for all. That is my second prayer, Honorable Speaker. And lastly, I wanted to tell her that uh, as an area member of parliament, I'm going to cooperate with the authority to ensure that some of the recommendations she has put here that will require the inter uh, intervention of the community to address the perennial flooding uh, are handled well. I'm going to cooperate with the community and we work together on that. Thank you, thank you Honorable Speaker. Alice, I can take note that. I can take one joy rider. Yes. Uh, <coughs> I thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. And I also want to thank our capable Cabinet Secretary, who is uh, an immediate former colleague, and her response to the call of the House is very, very important, and I applaud her for that. Honorable Speaker, Nyando constituency is known for nothing but flooding. In fact, all across the country, whereas we struggle to speak Swahili, but we have one lady with a begging emblem saying Serikali's idea every year. And Honorable Speaker, this is orchestrated by the perennial busting of the uh, river bank, River Nyando, that causes great havoc to the people of that area. And every year, Honorable Speaker, we have to move to higher grounds. Three schools have since permanently relocated to higher grounds, and we had to abandon former schools, uh, putting aside monies, especially from CDF, to build a new school or new schools, Honorable Speaker. So it is a disaster. That is not just in waiting, but it is a disaster in place. You are making a speech. Ask a question. Honorable Speaker, my question therefore is, whereas this is not a new phenomenon, what is in place by the ministry to address this perennial flooding of Nyando constituency? And again, there is a tow head, which is a small island at the mouth of the river Nyando getting into Lake Victoria, which should be dredged to also help address this menace, Honorable Speaker. So I would want to hear from Madam Waziri whether I need to go back home and tell them to brace themselves for the longest haul or there are plans in place to help us address this once and for all, Honorable Speaker. And I thank you for the opportunity. Honorable Minister, will take uh, Wanjala as an additional joy rider. <laughs> thank you. Th th thank you. Mr. Speaker, it's unfair when we ask questions, you call us a joy, joy riders because the question belongs now to the House and any member is supposed to enjoy the joy when you ask the question <laughs> to contribute. But uh, thank you, uh, Uma, uh, Waziri, uh, who is our, uh, our former colleague, and I remember I predicted whether she will be a minister in the next government and she will confirm that and indeed she is today uh, as she is aware Budalangi is known for flooding from two rivers that is river Yala and river Zoya and these rivers require training and dredging in fact on Yala you cannot build dikes because it is already in the swamp. So the best thing to be done is to train it and dredge to allow the waters to move into the lake. 
So what plans do they have? Because when you are allocating 30 million 